rosy friends, it's Julie and today I'm going to do a quick update about my Ruby Lux LED light therapy mask. So if you didn't watch my first impression video about this mask, I hope you will go and check it out. It talks all about all the different features and what it does and what this little box thing does that goes with it and why I even chose to try this mask out even though I have been using another product successfully for a number of years. And if you do like this kind of video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. That way I'll know and I'll keep making them. <laughs> so I have been testing out the Ruby Lux LED Light Therapy Mask. I started testing it with just the red light exclusively. It has seven different light options um, and I was just using red. That's the one that I started way back in I think 2016 or 2015. I'm not really sure, possibly 2016 when I first started using light therapy to treat the rosacea on my face. I just used red. But then I decided I've been using red and amber yellow combination successfully for the last couple of years and if I really want to do a very scientific test then I should be comparing what I've been doing successfully with this one so I started combining both red and the amber yellow treatments on this mask so I have been using the amber on as well as the red since January but in December I was just using red all on its own after a bit of trial and error just sort of tinkering with how my face reacted to different intensities and different times because you can adjust pretty much everything on this which I really am impressed with um, the system that I have been using has been five minutes of red light on setting three which is half the intensity and the shortest possible session and then five minutes of the yellow amber on setting five which is the highest intensity at the lowest possible session time Eventually I will be adding green light as well because I'm super curious about that. But for the initial test, I'm just gonna keep it with the red and the amber to try and just keep it as steady as possible so that I can really judge what exactly is working <laughs> for this. And um, so that I can give you an, a really honest review on what I think of using this. One of the things that I really love other than, you know, all the different settings and things and that everything is adjustable, um, that there are so many options, is that once I figured out how to wear this, which I didn't do in the first impression video, because um, is how to wear this with the strap high up on my head. Initially, I wore it kind of down here at the bottom of my head, the same way that I would wear like a visor or something like that if I was just going out with something with a brim. It's just automatically when there's a band like that, I normally put it on the, the lower part of my head. And then the mask kept, because of gravity, it kept pulling itself down. But what I found is if you put this higher up, then on the head then it will just hold itself up and it doesn't slide down at all it doesn't push on the end of my nose like it did in the initial in the, the first video that i did i found out that i was just wearing it wrong if you put this higher on your head it's so much more comfortable it stays in place absolutely no complaints about that i can comfortably wear it sitting up or lying down these eye holes are big enough um, they have these little rubbery things so that um they really seal around your eyes so i can see through them really clearly um, I mean, other than the fact that I can't put my glasses on, but I can see through them really, really clearly. So I can read, I can watch YouTube videos, I can pretty much do normal kind of stuff that I don't have to move around too much because it does plug into the wall, which is another thing that I like. I like that it doesn't have to, it's not on batteries, it just plugs right on into the wall so you don't have to keep replacing battery packs. So as long as you can stay put for the length of your session, you could pretty much do whatever it is. Not in the bathtub though, it does plug in. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill you, Rosie friend. Um, so far I think that the only downside that I've really found about this one compared to the other light that I've really loved until this point is that it does take about three times longer to do the same session because you can't combine two kinds of light at the same time, which my other one does, the, my not mask one. It takes about 10 minutes, whereas it takes about three minutes with my other one. That said, because I'm not wearing those like goggles and I'm not sort of, I don't have to stay still and have the thing directly in my face, the light in my face, it just holds on by itself. It really isn't a pain to do 10 minutes of a session because you know, one or two YouTube videos and I'm done. So that's about it. Um, I won't be able to make any decisions as to whether or not it's actually helping my skin the way the other one does until about three months of treatment have passed. So that'll be coming up in the next few weeks. I will have a fuller review that lets you know what I think of how it's actually reacting with my face and what it's doing, especially in this freaky cold winter that it's been. So I will be getting back to you on that one really shortly. 
But um, if you've tried this mask or if you've tried a similar, another product that's a, a light therapy mask and you've had a good or a not so good experience, I would love for you to share that in the comments. For now, because this was just a little bit of an update, I guess that's about it. Um, if you do like this video, please again, give me a thumbs up, that way I'll know. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.